Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory, and between episodes, I unlocked Radar Towers. Pretty easy with everything for it, I just thought I'd try it out, I didn't know what they did. And if you look at it, it kind of shows you in a radius, um, you really don't need that many, you need like, I don't know, 10, 15 maybe for the whole map. They cost 30 megawatts to do, uh, we'll just call this one a tower, I guess, I don't know. Um... <laughs> But then if I go on my map here and now this, we have this resources tab, if I unhide it, now it shows me everything I have used in the area and everything I haven't used and their rarity. So I no longer need to go to the thing on online and look at for notes. Um, you can just use this, which is great. And it also tells me that I'm missing 22 <laughs> Mercer spheres and eight summer soups in the area, which is crazy. I found all the colored, the other, the non-blue slugs though, which is nice. But enough you happen, let's actually get on the episodes. We need to unlock our good old um, stuff for drones. So there we go. What do we got, Ada? Milestone reached. Drones provide automated low capacity aerial transport between drone stations. Stations need to be supplied with any kind of fuel for the drones to function. Fixit had several restrictions in place prohibiting creative use of drones. I have since removed those because I think no pioneer would ever misuse Fixit property right under their noses. Especially since everything is recorded. For sure. Definitely would never do that. <laughs> um, so it says any kind of fuel and honestly, we might as well just use coal. Um, and a look or maybe a coal node. Let's open the map. Um, so we're using all of these for steel. There's a coal node way over there. That's not gonna happen. Um, the sulfur. There's a potential for another oil setup over here. Um, oh wow, there is no coal left. We've used it all. So we might have to import coal. Who would have thought? I have an idea on where to get some. I know there's some coal down by our concrete slash quartz factory area. It is now going to add. We'll also have a uh, addition of coal here, I guess now. And here it is on this beach. We have three coal nodes. I don't think we'll use all three, but I'm not even sure how much they need, honestly. So what did notice this uh, imp here? Ugh. Ew, dude, that's gross. Roadie. What's this one? Imp oh my god, are they all imp here? Maybe we'll use all three if they're all imp here. Come on. Be normal. Sweet. Alright, um... I don't know. I'm not sure how much coal they need. Alright, on the wiki and on Reddit, it says it can't use coal. So good thing I checked before I started importing coal for no reason, but... I might have to use either fuel or rocket fuel. Maybe ionized fuel. We'll have to, we'll have to look up. Let's see what's, see what's good. All right, we're gonna go with the turbo fuel package, turbo fuel, of course. And believe it or not, we're actually already making it for our personal jetpack. I also have to probably th slap on some um, power shards. That's the word, and we'll get it going. Okay, right, so for now, we're making thirty package turbo fuel per minute. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. I'm sure I did at some point, but we're just below our train station here. Uh, just brought over some oil that was that's literally right there and then coal from our steel area and then sulfur from a node like just over there just past the uh the thing so uh yeah now we have 40 a minute and i'm gonna reorganize this so that we get uh what do you call it drones all right now we have our turbo fuel on top of the train depot so what's next you might ask i don't know so Let's see. Got a drone port. Oh my god. This thing's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Interesting. This is not at all what I thought it would look like. Um, I've never used drones before, so this is going to be really interesting. Um, where? Okay, so I see your inputs. Where your, okay, your output is also there. Okay, so if I just place you here. And then let's at least go for two. And you know, while we're at it, we might as well go for three. 
I'll stop. I'll stop at three. Okay. We'll stop at three. Um. Okay. So now we have three drone ports. So when I spill the drone, missing materials. I need a miner for a drone. That. That doesn't really make sense. But okay. All right. We got our workshop up and running. So now we should be able to go ahead and create ourselves a drone. Very nice. So I just go that, that, and that, I guess. I don't know. I'm we're free balling right now. Uh, okay, so I can't. So this is the drone port, not the drone itself. If we do this, we can do like quick wire. Okay, I, I think I think I know how to, I want to do this. Quick hub. Quick wire one. Uh, quick wire import one, and then we'll just copy that. E, roll V two. I right, just copy. No, I can't. Can't copy settings. And then import three. Okay, so you're all gonna use turbo fuel. Everyone's kind of chilling right now, and then I think I'm gonna go put a port down by the. Maybe two ports down by our Caterium factory to get, get the Caterium here. We'll see. Again, I, I don't know. There's been a summer sloop underneath our noses the entire time. Oh, where'd he go? Insane. Let's see if I want to get this one. I want to get another audio thing. I think I might have gotten to the end of the audio stuff. So I've collected quite a few since I've heard the last one. I haven't heard anything. Maybe I did get to the... Finish out the story? I don't know. All right, so I brought other belts that we are not using right now. This one is being used for whatever we said it for last time. And these belts are also full. So I, yes, obviously they're full right now, but they can they they have a full 780 quick wire on them each per minute. I think we go ahead and hook all this up and nope, into where it needs to go. And then we upgrade you and give you both power. We should now have um, uh, export one, copy that. And then, yeah, Ex export two and that should work. They don't need fuel. Um, cause they should still be, they should have more than enough fuel, um, from up there. So let's just come back and see what we can do. All right. So now that we're back here, if I just go ahead and open this up and then I, this ports. So yes, status good, relevant ports, distance, uh, destination. We want the, oh, I didn't rename the other one. <laughs> Damn. Uh, was. Well, I know what it is though. So uh this is the import. So we went to exports. Okay, so we'll go with this. Distance 500. Oh, and then I tell it where to go after that. Okay, so you just And then you just come back and forth. Oh. Can I ride you? Oh my god. Okay, so you should, and it's figuring out where to go. Getting some ground clearance doesn't hit anything. Oh, oh God. Oh, buddy. Yes. Oh God. I was say that's a really great way to get around the map pretty fast. All right. You should land here soon. Oh, there he is. I don't, I don't know what. Okay. This is cool. I've never, I've actually never seen anyone use drones either. I know, like, I think it was changed recently where they're more usable. Um, cause I know usability was a big thing before. So nice. And then you just, no, what do you, okay, wait, I guess something weird happened there. Okay.
Let's ride. Okay. And now we just take everything back to where it needs to go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they don't seem to actually fly through the world. Kind of like they come up and disappear and then go and then like, yeah, reappear and come down. Wow, that's, wait, what? That was fast. All right. That's fast. Um... We might actually be able to just remove the ports there. So if I tell this one, so where wire import two, and then wait, this port destination. Why? So okay, I'm confused. Okay, so we can actually just go ahead and use one. Um, we could use one ports. I think we need to use two because of our belt capacity. But I think we'll have to use two for the belt capacity. So I think from here, we'll just, I want you to go to export two. And then no port. And then this port. So from quick wire. All right, I might have I might have messed up. No, he's, he's back. Okay. All right, it seems to have fixed itself. So we're going from the import here to the export, and from the export to here, it fixed itself. Cool. So I didn't really mess anything up. <laughs> All right, so there's our two. I can set up a third, but I think dude's four. Like we don't even need the Caterium over here right now, to be honest. I just wanted to use drones. So yeah, drones seem pretty cool. I kind of wish I was, I thought I was going to see them flying back and forth, which is kind of disappointing, but I get it. It'd be really hard to make them actually pathfind through everything. Um, but yeah, there are drones. I also think just for now, we'll just run one drone because we don't have the belt speed to <laughs> take care of everything we need to take care of. So let's run even one drone's a little much. I just wanted to use them, but yeah, now we should, uh, we can get as much quick wire as we want over here. Because before we were making enough, we just we didn't have the means to transfer all of it. So now we do. So next on the list after drones is nuclear power. I don't really know if we need nuclear power, to be honest. Do we need nuclear power? We might need these rods at some point. Um, but I don't really care about the rest. Project part number seven. Okay, so we do need this. All right, so... Well, actually, let's see real quick. Can we go ahead and do this? I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. But I'll go ahead and collect the resources for this, and we should be able to get this. Now that I have the wire, our personal storage only holds 2,000, unfortunately. Go ahead and get advanced aluminum production. Milestone reached. The resource well pressurizer and extractor can harvest nitrogen, crude oil, and water from underground wells. Nitrogen, being a gas, does not need pumps for pipeline transportation. Fixit does not process most of your metrics, but I do. According to Fixit predictions, you are exploiting this planet with unexpected efficiency. They did always struggle to see the true potential of things. Nothing about you is unexpected to me, and therefore you are performing exactly as expected. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I feel good. She believes in me. It's basically what that means. She knows I'm great. So I think now we should start building super computers. And then we'll get all this stuff, and we'll get it. I don't know what we'll use it for, but... We'll see. I don't really think we need... If we run into some kind of weird power issue, maybe. But I, what we have now is more than fine. So I don't see us needing nuclear... Oh, God. Nuclear... I, the amount of times I've actually climbed up the ladder into these and got shot off into the distance is insane. Stop! Walk like a normal person. So supercomputers. Actually, for the potential supercomputer recipe I want, we need to get heat sinks up and running. We need to get a heat sink factory. That's going to be our first goal here. Because then we need to make 
cooling systems with those. Which means we'll probably... You're just not letting me scan crude oil. What? Oh, I think in the things I can check up. Okay. I hear that. And then, yeah, so we'll be using pretty much all of this to make our cooling system. And we also need fuse modular frames, but what do those take? I'm guessing they take heavies, probably. Fuse modular frame. Yeah, it takes one and a half. And then more aluminum casings and nitrogen gas. So we'll see. So I did some scanning on the map and uh, yeah, we have no nitrogen anywhere near us. So the nearest one's here and it's pure though. So that's kind of nice. There's also the closest one to us. So I guess there's that. So I think we need to pull the nitrogen back to the base. And you know what I didn't account for was uh, liquids in this. So I'll probably build a station for nitrogen and water. Probably makes the most sense. And there we go. Two new stations. One for nitrogen, one for water, and they are fluids. Here's the pure nitrogen, and there's our highway. So close. Very nice. And look at this giant area. Oh, there's water and nitrogen right next to each other. Two stations. Alright, I ran out of energy to care, so... Nice, quick uh, intersection here. And then super sloppily uh stations here one for water one for nitrogen i don't know if we need the water one just yet but it's set up here anyway and it looks disgusting everything has been absolutely just rigged together to work it's not uniform it's nasty but you know what it'll work all right so let's see how to do this i've never done this before um i think be production we need the pressurizer this is bigger than i thought it'd be boom we're building it. We're building the thing. Oh, yeah. And we just, uh, boom. And there we go. Okay. Now, this entire thing has been pressurized. So, I guess because it's pure, I think 1200. Oh, my God. <laughs> um,. So 1200, I think because this was pure, right? Not sure. So, oh my god. So yeah, it looks like they're all pure, which 1200 must be the pop you can do. And if there's 1200, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't know. Let's see. We're, we'll be pulling out 1200 here anyway. Um... Okay. Okay. This and then have you go around. Yes, you can come this way. Other way. Turn around. There we go. Go. And then do these have interfaces? Yeah, each one does 120 per. Okay. Fracking, kind of. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, let's start pulling it out. But since it's 1,200, each thing can handle six. Let's see. Do organization. Then we do industrial fluid buffer. And then we're going to want dose. Because we'll want... One of these to go. We just noodle it up here. Then we put a valve there. Then this will start filling up with nitrogen gas. And then I'll just go around, hook them all up, and it should be good. I've just been blown up. The people. <laughs> By the uh, the residents. They don't like me to take their nitrogen. But now we are successfully taking all the nitrogen out of all these nodes. And we're getting 1,200 a minute out of it. So hopefully that can last us a little bit. Because um, if not, we'll need to put a lot more buffers on. Actually, I'm going to check now. Just see how far 1,200 will get us. I think we'll, we'll shoot for 1,800. 
at this point. That already added 100 megawatts to it. So 1800 is as much as we'll be able to do because uh, we could do more. We could do more. Hmm. We'll leave it at 18 for now. All right. I lied. I thought, you know what? We're here. We might as well set it up. So now it's at 250%. And now we're extracting 3,000 nitrogen per minute. That should be good for a while. I would assume. So each two of these nodes uh, produce 600. So we can only extract that much. And yeah. Now we need five buffers. And we have six spots up here, which works out great. And there we go. Now our nitrogen is being piped over here. And we're filling up nice and quick. This is great. <laughs> trains up and running. Got trains going everywhere. The drone just flew by. This is what I was picturing, baby. I love it. Load the nitrogen. Oh, yeah. You need to uh, color that, though. Come on. We gotta match the chrome. Plus, I get to the nitrogen color, so. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd all just uh, cooperate. Thank you so much. And now we have nitrogen to the base. Yeah. Um. So maybe I went a little overboard with how much nitrogen we're making. I, you would need a train to pull in. Like, the other train, like, just left. I'm not kidding you. Like, not even a minute ago. And you can tell in two minutes this will fill up. And it takes that train much more than two minutes to get here. So if we want to use all this nitrogen, we'll have to run at least three trains, I think, just for nitrogen itself. Which is crazy. But we just, we're making so much of it. And here we go. I just put the pipes under because I thought it might look a little cool. Maybe. Might little add a little sum sum. A little pizzazz. Um, so yeah, we're pulling it from our buffers over there and then it's coming through here and then there's a hole in the wall here and that's where it, it will, it's in the, log the uh, logistics floor right there. Worked out perfectly and yeah, so now we need to make some heat sinks, I think. So to make the heat casings, I think we're gonna go ahead and choose this uh, alternate recipe. Radio connections I don't really care about. This just makes a little bit more. And if I use this or the default recipe, uh, I actually think uh, decisions, decisions. This one makes more, but it's not necessarily cheaper. I don't know. Going through it, uh, our rubber demand's already pretty high. I don't want to stack on top of it right now. So we're just going to stick with the original heatsink recipe, which is still like we can make this easily. It's no big deal at all. Um, but yeah, so we'll just use this recipe and hook stuff up to it. I think we'll only do one. I think seven and a half per minute should be fine. And here we are making seven and a half heat sinks per minute. And I went to look at the recipes and seven and a half heat sinks a minute is not enough. So <laughs> that's not enough for anything. So we need more actually, which means we actually need another 15 copper sheets. All right, there we go. Just added, doubled up here. And now we have 15 heat sticks per minute. And yeah. All right, so next on the list is our, well, our cooling system. So I was kind of looking at recipes here. Um, I think we'll stick with the normal recipe uh, just because of what we're making and things like that. Uh, actually, I'm kind of reconsidering. Um, hang on. Yeah, actually, no. We're gonna use the, we're gonna use the the normal recipe, and then yeah, because the only thing stopping us from making more heat sinks right now is our lack of aluminum sheets. But as you all know, if you've been watching the series, we have a stupendous amount of excess aluminum that we could be using. And all the silica we added earlier, so uh, that's just going to be something I need to do. But, yeah. So I think we're going to do uh, cooling systems up next. And here's our blender that we will be using. I've never used one of these before either. 
but I just painted on the wall or not the wall, the floor here. So I know like what boundaries to not go over. Cause for here, um, if it goes any further this way, it'll be close to our AI limiter setup, I think, or what are you making? Crystal oscillators? I think so. And then this is our computer setup. So if we ever need to expand this way, I don't want it over here. And yeah, that's very cool. All right, so everything kind of piped over or belted over also. So we have our nitrogen, the heat sinks we were making, and then the uh, the rubber that we also need for this. And if you'll notice, we're just missing one more thing, and that is water. And if you also notice, we don't have water coming into the base at all. But at our nitrogen place, I did set up an extra train station for water. So we're going to go set that up now. Hello, lake. I'm gonna pull a, a Nestle here. Nestle? Nestle here? And uh, I'm gonna take all your water. All right, now we're pulling 600 water a minute out of here, just for now. Uh, we don't need 600 at all. Um, I think we need 30 a minute. We'll poss possibly need 60 a minute in the future, but 600 is a lot more than we need right now. So it'll do. And now we have water also coming through. So now we have our nitrogen and our water into the factory. Okay, now we have our everything in here. Everything is ready to go. Other than the fact that I did not hook up the belts. Uh, but yeah, now we have six cooling systems per minute. It looks so cool. Look at it go someone say a recipe for three supercomputers per minute oh you did okay here are our new cooling systems going they're now uh belted over i have located our radio control units radio control units are now being piped in belted in oh of course let me throw okay or not let's uh come down here then and everyone should be ready. Boom. Supercomputers, three a minute. We definitely want more than that. So we'll have to see about that. There it is. The first supercomputer. Yes. Boom. But with that, I think now is a good time to end the episode. We got our supercomputers up and running and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is great. Nitrogen, water in the base. It's fantastic. So I think between episodes, I'll look into how I want to upgrade our, we'll produce more supercomputers. And then um, before we, so we technically now with supercomputers, we have the ability to unlock uh, nuclear power. However, I'm going to go ahead and just put that on pause for just a second. And we'll look into upgrading our supercomputers and then look into what we need to do to start building the next, uh, like the space elevator parts for the next phase and let that run while we do you know nuclear and all this other stuff i assume they'll finish at about the same time once we unlock the last thing here or whichever one we decide to do i don't know anyway that's for the episode next episode we're gonna be starting on project parts and upgrading our supercomputer production yep